Hi y'all, my name is Bodie Drake. A lot of times when we have duck dogs, working dogs like my, my friend here, Bud, we like to spend a lot of time training them out in the field to fetch ducks, fetch dummy ducks. Um, work on, get them to sit on the dog stand good. A lot of them keep training. But a lot of times people skip out on boat training. How is your dog supposed to behave in your boat? One thing I want to do with my dog is I want to, when I get in the boat with him, I want to keep him right here in between my legs so I can make sure he doesn't uh, get whacked by tree limbs or another dog gets after him or uh, he doesn't do anything erratic like jump out of the boat or move around a lot when we're moving. So I want to keep my dog right here in between my legs, protected and under control. Um, anytime I'm riding with somebody else, I also want to do the same thing. Uh, this is especially true if you've got young dogs. If you've got a, if you've got a rambunctious dog and you're riding around with somebody else, your dog's out of control you're probably not going to get an invite back at least not your dog um, so the next thing i want to tell you guys about is uh, our routine if we're running in really shallow water <clears throat> i'm going to want my dog to get up on the front deck it helps me clean out um, and then once we get up on pad and we start running i call him back to me and i get him right here between my legs again that way he's good and safe so i want to run through that with you guys uh, first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tell bud to get up on the, on the deck i say place he goes to the front bud place place uh, then I'll start the motor up and before I give the gas I let him get good and set if you take off too early uh, you'll knock him down and if you knock him down you'll lose your trust in your dog and this will be really hard to train him to do uh, so again once I get up on pad I'm gonna call him back to me so he can uh, be right in between my legs and I can be in good control of him Right, guys thanks for tuning in today and listening to my tips i hope you're able to get something out of it something constructive um, remember having your dog with you is a great experience but you got to make an extra effort to train him to keep him safe that way you'll have uh, the best experience possible with your dog while you're out hunting and again nobody likes a dog running around everywhere when you're trying to hunt uh, your buddies won't invite you to come back on a hunt if you do that so keep your dog contained keep him safe and enjoy the great outdoors